Howdy YouTube, Pedro the Broke Prepper here with another video. Um, today's video is going to be a unboxing or a review of the Chicago Electrics 4 inch heavy duty angle grinder from Harbor Freight and Tool. Um, I've actually owned a couple of these. I've owned, I think this is my third one. And in all honesty, I think for the price, they're awesome. I remember when I first started getting them, they were like 15 bucks. This one cost me 18. So I'm hoping that's not like extra tax or anything. And that they invested a little bit more into making it a little bit better. Because it does have its limitations. There's my puppy. So as we open the box, we'll, we get instructions course I never read those we have the angle grinder this this does feel heavier than it used to oh and it's like the button is like inlaid rather than being like a round button yeah so it looks like they might have upgraded this a little bit put that on the side see what else it comes with okay normally they give you like a really thick flat disc the switch even looks different so just so you guys know i'm not the biggest fan of angles angle grinders that switch on and off i prefer the angle grinders that have the button so that if you let go of the button it turns off and the reason being is because when I first started cutting metal and making like my own knives and tools and stuff, I've actually had this jump out of my hand, like skip on me and just kind of like run around and I had to like jump up on a table and every, like I almost lost a foot, which is why I am more a fan of the that lever the safety lever rather than the switches but for some reason all the angle grinders that have that one are like twice as expensive so apparently somebody at harbor freight per forgot to put my wrench in here mm, but instead of going back to harbor freight and complaining i decided just use my channel locking pliers and I also added the put on the handle which feels heftier than the last one and move the guard so that I can get a better angle with the cut but, and don't forget safety first because I have kids who like to take my safety glasses I had to get these cheapy Xbox glasses so don't use these try to get yourself some real safety glasses guys let's get started Um, the machine itself is pretty warm. I don't feel like I could do too many cuts without having to give this thing a rest to cool down. Um, it doesn't weigh too much. It's pretty light in the hand. It's in all, I think for even 20 bucks, I honestly think 
that this is an awesome investment if you're just kind of getting into you know knife making or making they're just handing me tools knife making or like making your own tools if you guys need an angle grinder here you go this is definitely the one to start off with just remember you do got to give this thing a break after a couple cuts um i say about 10 15 minutes should do it so have a good one youtube don't forget don't ever not be prepared have fun and be safe don't forget to like and subscribe